Hello and welcome to chapter 17 of the UVM Primer code videos. Uh, in this chapter we're going to look at the question of how to get two threads to talk to each other. What we want to have happen is we want to have a producer thread that is uh, sitting like that had been say forked off or is in the is a UVM component and a consumer thread and we want these two threads to talk to each other. Now, if we take a quick look at our initial code uh, we remember that in Verilog we always work with threads. That they're in mod they're in modules, and so for example, every initial block is its own thread, um, and ever and so we have here a producer module and a consumer module. Each one has an initial block, so those are running in their own thread, and each one has a signal called put it and get it that they communicate with through their uh, through their module ports. So you can see here we've been instantiated the producer and the consumer. And what happens is the consumer comes down and it, it looks at the get it signal, waits for that to change. Uh, the producer comes down, uh, puts some data into this shared variable that we're using, this shared bus essentially that we're using to control and share data between the two. Uh, then it flips the get it bit and then it waits for the put it bit. That causes him to block. The get it bit flips and that enables this guy to read the shared bus and then to flip the put it bit, come back up around and then block. The put it bit enables this guy to come back up around, put another piece of data in there and then flip the get it bit and then block. Without this blocking, uh, you wouldn't have communication because one thread would run all the time. So blocking is critical for communication and for coordinating behaviors between threads. Let's see how we do this with classes. Um, let's just look at a top level here. We are going to create some um, UVM components. Here's our UVM test. We have a producer component and a consumer component and a thing called a UVM TLM FIFO. And the FIFO is what's going to allow the communication uh, and also the blocking. And we'll look uh, inside the producer and the consumer and then come back out and look at this top level. So if we look at the producer, we see the producer has an object called a UVM put port of type int, so it passes integers. Um, we declare a variable to hold the put port. This is from the UVM. We make a new put port in our build phase. And then in our run phase, which is running in its own thread, we're going to send three pieces of data using a shared variable again. And we say put port dot put in pass it the data. Now, now what we're doing is we're putting that data into the FIFO and the first time through it goes right into the FIFO. The second time through that FIFO is full. It only holds one piece of data and that causes us to block. So that's where we're getting the blocking in interthread communication. If we look at the consumer, the consumer started out again he created a get port, a UVM get port, made an instance of it and down here he called the get method on that get port but when he called it the FIFO was empty so he blocked so he blocked but the pursuit the producer was able to run and put data in there and then the producer blocked once the producer blocks this guy gets another shot at looking at that FIFO and the FIFO has data so he pulls the data out of the FIFO uh, prints it to the screen goes back up tries to get more data but the FIFO is empty and he blocks and which brings you back over to the producer who now can, has a chance to put more data in there. Uh, both of these guys are held together by this top level communication test. In the connect phase we access the put port and the get port objects in the producer and the consumer and we see each of these objects has a method called connect and the uh, FIFO right up here our UVM TLM FIFO that we instantiated right here in the build phase the FIFO has a put export, remember like the analysis export from before, it has a put export object and a get export object and we call connect on our put port and we pass it the put export object and we call connect on our get port and we pass it the get export object and now the producer and the consumer are connected and they can do the communication that we just described. And that's how you do interthread communication in the UVM. 